up on your sword, cause the time is near. Gotta do it big like Bon Iver. I'm a rock star on a chandelier. Ah. Off the walls, yeah, I'm about to go crazy. Yeah. For the beast, anybody that can take me. I have already done my toner, used my grapeseed oil, and I put on some of that eye primer from Black Radiance. And I'm about to prime my face. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I'm not gonna spot conceal, but I am gonna do my RCMA No Color Setting Powder over the primer just because the days are getting warmer and I don't wanna take any chances. Okay, and I'm going to be trying out the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Foundation in the shade Espresso. Not sure if it's going to match, I hope it does. But they only had two of the deeper shades at Ulta and the other one, I mean, their lighting is really bad in there. But this one looked like it might be a match. If not, we'll be doing a lot of color correcting. No, that might be a little deep, but we'll see. The undertone looks fine, though. I think the other one, the undertone did not look okay. So put some on my sponge. It loses spreadability quite quickly. Probably because it's so matte, but so I need a little bit more for my nose. I just took a little bit right there. It still doesn't like to come my nose anyway, so whatever. It seems like the dark spots around my chin and other parts of my face are fairly covered. My nose isn't, but I use concealer there anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to use the Conceal and Define in the shade C12. I still don't have much coverage around my nose, so I'm going to use Conceal and Define in the shade C15, just on the parts where people would normally contour. I guess that works to cover up the spots just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to use the Revolution Peach Powder to highlight, and then I'm going to throw a little bit of my Pretty Pink Powder on top just to brighten things up a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to put some of the Ben Nye Pretty Pink Powder on the areas under my eyes to highlight. I'm not going to do it on my nose or forehead. I don't think that's necessary. Oh, and as you can see, I already did that um, colorful eye primer because I know today's going to be one of those days where I don't have much time. So I'm just going to slap on some sort of eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm going to brush off my bake. I'm sweating. Okay, and for blush, I'm going to the Juvia's Place, Sahara and Blush Volume 1 palette. Throw on some eyeliner real quick. Okay, now I'm going to put on my Ben Nye Nutmeg Powder. Okay, now I'm gonna set again with my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm gonna let that sit for a moment and just brush out my hair. I've already moisturized it. Okay, my hair is on strike and apparently it's gonna do whatever it wants to do. I don't care, fine. Brush off my powder. Brush the powder out of my brows. Okay, I'm gonna use some rose water. While that's sitting, I will throw on some lip liner. And then I'm just going to throw on some lip gloss. I had a little tweezing incident earlier this week. And that area of my skin is really damaged. So I'm not going to put on regular lipstick. Because I need to be able to moisturize that whenever I need to. So it doesn't get super crusty. Sorry about that. My phone stopped recording because I got a phone call. I did not answer it because I don't know that number. But it stops the video. So. That's what we got going on. And since I'm using a new foundation. I'm not going to try out the Black Radiance setting spray. I'm just going to use my Amuse Set in Stone. And this is pretty much it. I'll check in later. Bye! Okay, so here we are at 11 hours, almost 11 and a half. My hair was fighting with me, so I had to put it away. I have not blotted or touched up my makeup. And... I don't know, I'm fairly mad. I'm a little bit, um, what is that? Dewy. And then the foundation just wouldn't stay on my nose today, as I've already said. 
and if I was going to smooth it back out, you know, it's still fairly presentable. Ignore that. I, as I said before earlier, it's fighting with my face. Just not too sure of the match. I think the places where I highlighted look all right, but I don't know. I guess it kind of matches with the darker parts of my skin, but it's just a really stark contrast between my chest. But my face is never my chest color. So this is what we've got. Bye. Okay, so we are back for another day with the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Espresso. After, I mean, I haven't uploaded the video yet, but after reviewing it a little bit yesterday and also, you know, just wearing it, I think it might be a tad too deep. So I'm going to use this Blur Me Away Tinted Primer from Clean Color because it's, um, well, it's the deepest one they have, but it's light. And I figure, so that mixed with the foundation might make a good combination. Well, and this primer, I didn't realize it last time, I don't think, but it is um, scented. Oh, and I'd already put on the eye primer that I got from Black Radiance. It really is a time saver on days where I am not sure I'm gonna get around to doing everything I would like to do with my eyes, but I would still wanna look like I put in some effort. Yeah, that primer is blurring, but yeah, it's pretty light. Also, it might be a little bit too warm. Hopefully it won't mess up the undertone of the foundation too much. Okay, and I need to wash my makeup brushes. And I haven't, so I'm just gonna use the new one I got. This is the Real Techniques Blur and Blend Base Foundation Brush. I think it was like 40% off at Ulta and I have a shopping problem. So I'm not gonna put on any concealer until the end if I need some. Okay, so that's how much we're using today. I think that would be a total of three pumps, maybe four. And since it is a bit deeper, I'm gonna start on the outside of my face where my face is deeper anyway, and then bring it in. And then bring it in um, so there's less color coverage in the middle of my face where I'm lighter. This brush feels really nice. It's like putting on your makeup with a teddy bear. <laughs> Okay, but it is hard to get into these little smaller areas with this brush. I do have a smaller one, but I'm not using it just for this. And because I didn't conceal, I didn't pre-powder my face like I would like to, which I did not realize or think about until this very moment. I don't think that works. I'm gonna use the Revolution Conceal and Define in C15. I'm just putting those on like there, there, there. Little spots my nose. And then I'm gonna pat in that concealer. I don't know, it didn't help too much around my nose. A little bit of a color corrector. This is the Master Camel by Maybelline and put a tiny dab of the Conceal and Define on top of it. And we're going to use the Conceal and Define in the shade C12 to highlight. Not perfect, but never is. We're gonna set with the Ben Nye Pretty Pink Powder. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put on some eyeshadows and I'll be back. Okay, so my eyes are done and I have thrown on some lip gloss and brush off my bake. Go into the Juvia's Place, Sahara and Blush Volume 1. For regular contour, I'm using the Ben Nye Ebony Powder. And I'm going to use the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Nutmeg. And I'm going to set with my RCMA No Color Powder. Okay, I'm going to brush out my brows while I let that set for a moment. Put on some more lip moisturizer. I'm going to line my lips with something. Okay, now I'm gonna brush off my powder. Okay, I'm gonna spray some rose water. While I'm letting that set, I'm gonna use the NYX Candy Slick Glowy Lip Color in the shade Grape Expectations. 
it really doesn't have much stain power but that's actually why I'm using it because it um, fades gracefully and that way I don't have to bring it with me when it starts to fade off I'm just gonna throw something else on top amuse set in stone setting spray and basically let my face dry while I finish getting ready yeah, so this is finished face. No, it still seems a little dusky. Maybe it's the wrong undertone. Oh, well. We are still using the LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation in the shade Espresso. Instead of using grapeseed oil today, I used Manoe oil. It's supposed to have some healing properties and I've got some issues going on with my skin right there. Basically, I pulled out a hair, pulled out a hair follicle, and just totally destroyed the area. And it's not healing. So I used Manoi oil today instead. And then for primer, I used Laura Geller Spackle Mattifying Primer. I'm going to conceal my spots, and then powder, and then we'll start with the foundation. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the foundation, LA Girl Pro Matte in the shade Espresso. I love you. Have a good day. Four pumps. Okay, well, it didn't cover completely around my nose, but I don't want to put any more foundation, so I'm going to be using concealer to highlight anyway. Use my LA Girl High Definition Pro Conceal, whatever the LA Girl everybody uses, except for I don't use the shade Fawn, I use the shade Warm Sand. Even though I usually bring this all the way up to my forehead, I do not with this one because for some reason I get like a weird arc no matter how hard I try to blend out and make everything smooth. What is that? And since my spots on the side still aren't covered and I don't highlight that part, I'm just going to use some more concealer, but this is still in my base foundation shade, not a uh, contouring shade. This is the Conceal and Define C15. My nose is just not participating. All right, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. I'm going to set my under eye and nose with Ben Nye Pretty Pink Powder. For contour, I'm going to use my Ben Nye Ebony Powder. Okay, and I don't know what I'm going to do for eyeshadow today. Okay, so aside from the eye candy eyeshadow base from Black Radiance that I already had on, I just used Rosy Pink by Coastal Scents all over my eyelids, or like from yeah, top to bottom. I'm going to go into Mellow Yellow for my brow bone. I take olive wood through my crease. So on a thinner brush, I'm gonna go into Burnished Brunette and do a little bit more precise in the crease. And for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this AOA Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Melt. Okay, and I'm gonna use this Megawatts Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Buzz. And actually, I think that's what I would actually want around my brow bone too. Slide, slide. Okay, that was a little much. It's not bad, just it wasn't what I was planning to do. And I'm actually going to take some Clean Color Eyeshadow Sealer and I'm just patting that on top. And since we're, I guess, basically on a clean color kick, I'm gonna use this Clean Color Smoking Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black Diamonds for my eyeliner today. I really wish Clean Color would ship to Alaska. I keep forgetting that it really isn't black, it's more like a gray. So I'm gonna take this. I have no idea where I got this eyeliner from. I know it's black. Dust off this powder. And for blush, I'm going to mix the Ben Nye Media Pro Cream Blushes, Ultra Blush, and Coven Red, and Onyx. Well, that was a little bit more than I'd wanted. Oh well. That looks stupid. Too late. I'm gonna finish my face with the Ben Nye 
Bendai Nutmeg Powder. I'm gonna set with my RCMA No Color Setting Powder. Or maybe it's just RCMA No Color Powder. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna line my lips with Brown Black by NYX. I was gonna let it sit longer, but I don't really have time, so I'm gonna dust off my powder. Spray on some rose water. And I've got powder in my lashes, so I'm gonna throw on some mascara. This is Wet n Wild Mega Protein. I was going through my stuff and I realized I have like 10 unused mascaras, so I need to use them. Good enough. I'm gonna throw on this lip gloss. No idea. The brand, it just says Sparkle Lip Gloss. Came in a kit that I got for my niece for Christmas. I like it. Oh, and I did not put on any highlight. Let's see, I'm going to use this Revolution Baked Blusher called One Playing Games. And I use this for highlight. And this is what we are going with today. Using the Amuse Set in Stone setting spray. Now we're done. I will check in. I was gonna say throughout the day, but that might be a lie. I will at least check in at the end of the day. Okay, so we're at four and a half hours. And my makeup did not look that dark in my home lighting, but it looks a little dark here. But so far I haven't had any smudging, any... Hold on, I'm just walking, making sure I don't get hit by that truck that's coming by. So, so far I haven't had any smudging, any oil breakthrough, anything like that. But yeah, it's a bit dark. Just matches my neck though, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so four hours. I'll check in again later. Okay, so we're at 11 and a half hours. And this is what we're looking like. So this foundation is a little bit too dark, but I mean for 11 and a half hours, I mean I haven't blotted, I haven't touched up or anything, and I've got just a little bit of oil as you can see there, but my makeup like overall stayed intact, except for my nose, which is kind of, you know, what I expect. So that is that. Bye.